Hi and welcome to another Flutter tutorial uh, and today I'm going to talk about uh, an interesting concept um, when uh, developing Flutter application uh, so which normally we compile the application um, through um, AVD uh, but you can also compile your application um, through real Android device uh, which you need to connect to um, to a cable uh, and enable enable the developer mode for device. Uh, the the interesting thing is that uh, when you compile your application through the device uh, through a physical Android device, uh, the compile uh, or the uh, compile time is much much faster, and your computer also perform better. Uh, because of the resource or the amount of resources required uh, to execute or to compile the uh, Flutter application. Uh, so instead of using AVD, you can choose to run uh, your, um, your uh, Flutter application or debug your Flutter application on a real Android device. Um, however, there's a quirk uh, where you have to connect or you have to, you, you're going to need um, a physical device uh, which um, which will require for, uh, for, for the device to be connected using the cable. Um, so for example, um, Here, so you need to keep on, or you need to make sure that your device uh, connected all the time, uh, and through the USB cable to the computer. So there's nothing wrong with the setup, but you cannot just uh, you cannot just move uh, around uh, the device. Uh, there's a uh, there's a, um, another method actually available. Uh, which is called wireless debugging, which allow for your device or for your uh, Android device to to be uh, to be used wirelessly, uh, debug the application wirelessly without having to connect to to the cable here. So to be able to do that, I found an interesting um, article from Medium, uh, which. Um, uh, from Manoj Komar, uh, the wireless debugging Flutter and Android. So I put down the link um, through the description. Uh, what you're going to need is that uh, you need to enable or you need to follow the, the steps given. Uh, the first thing that you need to make sure that uh, you need to make sure that your ADB is um, or your the um, the ADB tools. Um, is uh, enabled so um, these the following is basically the step so you start with checking the adb version so you can type in check the adb uh, the availability of the adb uh, and then it basically will tell you that for example like uh, mine here is version uh, 1.0.41 uh, which is available uh, through the following directory uh, but if you are unable to run the ADB command, you you need to make sure that you add the command, or you need to add the command through your um, through your environment. Okay, set the path, set the path to the to to the ADB, uh, and make sure that you have your um, your uh, ADB access through terminal. Um, and that is the first step. The second step is that you need to make sure that for the first time, you need to be connected or you need to enable your cable and uh, connect to your Android device. Okay, so it is only for first time. Uh, and then turn on the, what do you call it, the um, uh, USB file transfer, uh, transfer mode is on. Uh, and then you need to, the uh, third step, you need to go to setting on your phone, uh, look for the um, uh, IP address for the phone, and this must be done within the same wireless network. Um, so you can go to setting. So like, for example, uh, my computer here, 
uh, let me turn on the camera. So the uh, mine here, uh, the Android uh, MIUI version, basically available under all spec, uh, and then under status. Okay, here, and you should be able to check your IP address. So, like for myself, uh, begin with one nine two, and then you need to make sure that your um, your IP address or written your IP address so that your IP address. Um, basically connected to your local area network so once you have that um, once you know your IP address of your phone uh, you need to go to the you need to uh, enable okay but make sure that uh, you're you're connected to to your to your device uh, then you need to type in adb tcp ip 5555 so this is the port for the connection so the adb um, and tcp ip 555 so once you type in um, more than once one device emulator available i believe that's already there so hold on. let me try this one more time reconnect and then give it one more time but i believe the uh, the okay it's already there okay should be no problem because i ha i've already set the um basically already available uh so let's try to connect to the to, to the device so all you have to do is just type in adb uh, connect and type in the IP address of the device so for myself um, the device that I'm running is the local address for this is 192.168.1.1 0.107 okay this one is already connected um, to port number 555 and then I can just remove and let's check if and I can just remove this one so you should be able to see okay so once you remove your cable uh, and then you should be able to see uh, the available device so this is a wireless uh, um, device uh, which is available so you can just choose the device and then make sure that that is the selected device and then uh, for example uh, this application so I want to run uh, this application so press F5 and wait for the application to compile and run on the device so let me turn on the camera And wait. Okay, so those are this is basically the camera now. Uh, turn on the camera and the device. And we have to wait for the application to compile wirelessly. So you can see that uh, there's no cable here. I didn't connect to the device. And then uh, we have to wait uh, for the compilation. So. Okay, so now you can see that uh, the installation. Oh, sorry, let me perform the installation again. Okay, so as you can see, um, the application can install now uh, and able to um, able to install on the device here and uh, able to debug okay so the application can run uh, and at the same time uh, perform uh, for example um, 
right first you can click on that and you can see that uh, the debug um, actually working and loading data uh, on the page to cut try to log in okay so you can just log in and then press log in and load the card here okay so it basically what we call it a uh, debug through wireless network so you see any cable here and it basically respond uh, based on the okay so it basically load data through HTTP requests all right so this is a quite interesting uh, feature provided uh, through ADB uh, and uh, you can give it a try and this basically free you up from from having to keep on connecting the device through the through the USB cable so and you can as long as you're within the local network uh, and you should be able to use the, the application and do the demo uh, and whatnot Okay, so very, very interesting um, tools to, to try. Okay, so I think that's all. Um, and until next time, so bye-bye.